Well, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is my personal favorite to win. And ever since he came onto the UWA scene back in October, he has been unopposed by everybody. No one can have seen the childish man. I'm talking about the glory of the universe himself, Planet X. There he is. No one's ever been able to phase this man in one one competition. So, however, tonight will probably be his greatest challenge. See, tonight, it doesn't matter what happens, he'll be probably, he'll probably still be considered undefeated. But this match will not, this match here, it's not about pinfall, submissions, or knockouts. It's about being the man, climb up the ladder, being the man to persevere through all the torment, the chaos, the carnage, the brutality that this match has to offer. And be able to climb up the ladder, grab the briefcase, and walk out of Atlanta, Georgia, knowing that you will become a headline pandemonium just a month away. Any man that can do it, this can be Planet X. This is the same man that put away you go. I mean, I mean. And wait. Well, now here we go. We, we saw this guy earlier, the Ace of Spades, Luke Fowler of the Society. Of course, we saw Luke Fowler come up with the Society earlier in the broadcast, and he and he and he, and he told us that when he wins tonight, yeah, talk about how cocky he is. He says when he wins tonight, that he's gonna challenge for fun at X one one for the West Coast Champion. And yes, he'll put his title on the line at Pandemonium Nine. All the power ever wants is to have that one thing he's never had in his entire career. It's the one thing that will complete his illustrious career in the UWA. That's having that glorified pandemonium moment that everybody will remember forever. And in what moment when he's in, if you about pandemonium moments, he will definitely be known forever if he can be the first man to beat Planet X on the grandest stage of them all, pandemonium. And here he comes, the Samoan submission machine, who went so long to fight. We haven't seen this claim the fame. He posted to be back, and here he comes. Oh man, I'm just, I'm getting good. I can't wait to see him come out. And there he is, Samoa Joe. Talk about the, book, the best pure wrestler in the world today, Samoa Joe. This man, for 31 weeks of being undefeated ever since he came into the Urban Wrestling Association two years ago at Pandemonium 7. In the UWA, that means a lot. There's not many men who went months of being undefeated. It's been a way of a long time since Samoa Joe finally returned. And what better way to return than at the, in the one-way ticket match? Of course, Samojo said that if he wins tonight, in honor of, of defending his friend Big Josh, his number one fan, and he's going to challenge Von Creed for the UWA Championship at, at Pandemonium. I mean, what a huge match that's going to be. I mean, people want to see Von Creed and Samojo go out. Ever since what happened at Claim the Fame, when Von Creed screwed Samojo out of the WWE title in the main event, that got Claim the Fame. And that was the most disgusting moment I've ever seen in my entire life. It was that moment right there that made me despise Von Creed with a bloody passion. Already wasting little time bringing in ladders. All, both of them are already in the ring. You already saw Samoa Joe working on somebody else earlier so in the corner. Going on this match, it's kind of hard to call this match, that's for sure. Yeah, maybe little. Look at this, All-Star and, and Samoa Joe was in no time going after the belt. And this easy got knocked off. Yeah, well, it was inevitable, and there's four other guys in the ring. Can't really expect to climb up and get the briefcase and four other people. They're standing in the way. Somebody out of though, what's he doing? One superstar going on the outside. It's the table. Going on top, maybe daring keep someone to get on top. Oh, no! Get away from us! Now you're exposing our table. That's totally uncalled for. Wait a minute, Samoa Joe. Look at this. Samoa Joe, this is no time going after Vampiro. The man who threatened to send his best friend, Sir Big Josh, to hell. God, working on the upper body. He's crushing Vampiro's ribs there. Look at this. Planet X, he's going fighting the outside here. He's, he's the, this is 
This is, this is quite ballsy of Luke Fowler going up for Planet X. The same man he's going to challenge one one at Pandemonium. But of course, we all heard we all heard the enforcer saying that if Luke Fowler doesn't win here tonight, he has huge plans involving Luke Fowler and the West Coast Championship by having the ultimate urban underground match for the West Coast Championship at Pandemonium. That right there, that right there is pretty much what all Pandemonium, Pandemonium is all about. That match is going to be the highlight of the pay-per-view. I promise you that. This is going to feature Planet X, Luke Fowler, Matt the Boss, the Karnik, the franchise player. Also, I'll turn over the ladder. And he go, man. It's gonna be huge. And that's an urban underground match. Man, it's gonna be quite exciting. Mojo nowhere near the briefcase. That's if Luke Fowler doesn't win this match. Only if Mojo on the outside. And Luke Fowler said he guarantees. He said he promises that he'll win this match. What's Mojo doing here? Oh, what a huge drop kick from the outside to the inside of the ring. So Mojo brought the ladder, the outside. We were all wondering why he was doing that. Climbed up and did a huge drop kick up the ladder from the outside, landed inside and drop kick. Wow! Newly improved Samoa Joe's right now. He just totally throws Plant X off the ladder. Mojo cleaning the house here. You see he's taunting Plant X back up over the vicious ladder shot. Pretty sure we'll see plenty of those. Probably too many too much to count in this one. Samoa Joe. Outside though, but here in front of us, I quite missed this. Some reality and Luke Bauer. Super Luke Bauer. Oh, this doesn't look good. Like I was getting out of a getting out of dodge there. That would have been that would have been it for for some Briano. But look, Samoa Joe all by himself in the middle of the ring. No one, no one stop him. Oh, but here, here come the Calvary here. Luke Bauer kicks the ladder down. But X was going up, but it didn't matter. Luke took it down. Also, still laid well, out. We see, we see all six of great, tremendous competitors flying for that briefcase to suspend above the ring. I'm sure all these guys have all their qualities, all their reasons why they would win this match. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about the dark horse in the That's got to be all star bad of the suicides. Yeah. Obviously, he was a last minute pick to be in this match by the enforcer. But. Also, I mean, also Badman. I mean, he's a tag team competitor. But this match, this match is right up All Stars Alley. I mean, he's a suicidal for Kong. I mean, he does all these death-defying moves to get what we want in this in this business. So he knows he's gonna put his body on the line just to get that briefcase in this match. And up here, oh no, playing X though. Who knows what crazy shit he, this man will come up with? Oh, we saw what we did earlier. No, also Badman will probably do something super crazy. He'll probably take himself out of the equation. Of course, also Badman. I mean, we all know after we saw that steel cage match that the Suicidals, I mean, they're equally as hungry for that tag team titles. Of course, the Enforcer not including the Suicidals in that in that hardcore three-way dual tag team match at Pandemonium for the tag team titles. And you know, All Star and Death are going to want a piece of those tag team titles at Pandemonium. So also Badman can't afford to lose this match if he's going to be, go through Pandemonium and win the tag team titles. For the fourth time. Well, Plan X was going to talent that ladder, but now he's all sorts stole away from Plan X and now all sorts just took out like two people. He took out Sombriato and Plan X with that ladder. Now Samoa Joe takes out All Star. Yeah, Vampire did a smart thing. Camping on the outside, waiting for all the action. So pass him so he can come in and pick the spots. Now everyone's back up. How people are getting up so fast from this chair shot? I'm from these ladder shots. This chair shot. Oh no! Speaking of chair shot, somebody else got it. And oh God! Samoa Joe trips him up though. Oh look how look at this! Look how this! Oh Samoa Joe though. Oh, totally missed. Totally unnecessary. Paid for it. Samoa Joe right back up. I guess this is with months of training. So this, what makes this match, match even greater is this match has a lot of firsts in the UWA. This is the this is the first ladder match Samoto has ever had in WA. This is the first time Samoto has ever met Luke Fowler in the ring. This is the first time Vampiro has ever been in a ladder match. First time Planet X has ever been in a ladder match. Look, watch out to there. Oh my! 
a lot of firsts here, and, and believe me, all systems man are going to do whatever it takes to, to win this match and go to pandemonium. Table in a break when Samoa Joe's leaped off it, going for a huge splash of flying form with Sombriato right to the right of us. Kalium break. Oh, wait a minute, though. All Star. I was so distracted. I didn't see All Star up top, though. Oh, water's down. Oh, he's pushed off, though, by Plan X. Your Imperial takes Plan X out. Oh, Smoke. Somebody on the outside try to recuperate. Trying to heal. Now he's back in. Ah! Oh! Sends Vampire head first, and that chair tucked between the two turnbuckles. 